this is a how-to tutorial on making an egg figure using a real egg. That's right, a real egg. So we're gonna, <laughs> this helmet is way too big on my tiny little head. Anyway, we're making an egg figure of an NFL football player. That's why I'm dressed this way. <laughs> Let's get started. Step number one, and that is to prep our egg. And we have to get what's inside out of there. Start by making a hole at the top and at the bottom of your eggs. Then just take a paper clip and all you're going to do is just insert it and scramble the egg from within. After you have emptied everything, now let's wash the egg to make sure it's clean inside and out. While our eggs are drying, let's go ahead and start kneading our clay and I use oven baked clay for this project. Keep kneading your clay until it's nice and soft and elastic like this one. This one is ready to use. So let's go ahead and start our figure. Take the clay, shape it into little square pieces, and then take this clay and then just form it into a long cylinder shape. And this is going to be the basic shape for the leg. So once you get it to about this size, then you're just going to cut it in half. And that's going to be the leg. Now for the feet, I like to start with another square piece and just keep shaping it until you get the desired shape that you want, be more pointy towards the front. And then once you get it to the desired shape, just take the other piece, just put it right on top and there you have the leg of the figure. For the arm, you're going to start with your square piece again and then just keep shaping it until you get the round piece just like you did with the leg. Once you get this shape, all you have to do is just cut a little piece at the end and this piece here will serve as the hand itself. Now this is going to be the tricky part. To get the shape for the shoulder pad, what I like to do is on this piece is just to squeeze here in the middle, leaving this part here a little bit thicker and then just keep squeezing the rest of it so that way you get a thinner shape at the end but a thicker shape here at this end. So this piece right here is gonna be our hand, but we need fingers. So just take your clay, roll it out into a rope, and then once you get it to the desired shape, it's gonna cut pieces to it. Just a few pieces, not too big. So you take your small piece, just put it on the end and that's going to be part of your finger. Just do that around. After you get the pieces in, just blend it as well as you can. And then once you're done, that should be your hand right there. Now let's work on the helmet. And now on the helmet, you have the guard. So that's what we're going to work. We're going to try to make it as simple as possible. So you're just going to start out by rolling out your dough into a rope. Once you have your rope all set, what you're going to do is just cut about two inches. The way these pieces are going to work is that once you attach it to the egg, it's going to be like a round cylinder. It's going to be something like this. Right now it's a little hard because it's nice and soft, but that's going to be the guard itself. Our last piece is going to be the football. So you just take a square piece of clay and just squeeze at both ends of the piece and just keep working on it, shaping it into the football form that you see. Something similar to this. Once you paint it, it'll look just like a football. Now all you have to do is just take your pieces and just dry fit it onto your egg and shape it into your desired pose. In this case, this is gonna be the pose I'm gonna be choosing. Just take the hand that you just did and just attach it to the arm, okay? And then once you do that, just dry fit the whole thing onto the egg. And in this case, he's gonna be holding the football. So I'll just have it like that. The other one is just gonna be right over here, around there. So just keep working on it until you have it to the desired pose. We have our clay pieces done. They're in the baking tray, so all we have to do is just bake them and all we have to do is just set the oven to the lowest possible temperature. In this case, mine is 150. And we bake it for 15 minutes. Now that the clay had enough time to dry to the touch, 
Let's go ahead and super glue all these pieces onto the egg. So everything had enough time to dry so but before I put in this part which is right there for the helmet let's go ahead and draw the face and all the other part of the uniform and then the last step will be to super glue this onto the figure once everything is all painted. Now that we have done all of our pencil mark the next step is to paint and for that you use just regular acrylic paint you can find in any craft store or in any department store. Now that you have finished painting your eggs, now it's time for the final detail like the eyes, the mouth, the outlines, and you do that with black marker. So let's do that now. Alright, the figure has been painted, so there's only two very small tiny steps to do, and that is to attach this part to the helmet, which goes right there to the face, and the other one is to attach the football, which goes nestled right there in its hand. So let's do that now. There you go, an NFL football player, and this idea comes courtesy of this person, Nathaniel Concepcion. Thank you very much, Nathaniel, for this idea. If anyone out there wants me to make any other character, any character they wish, just leave your ideas down below in the comment section. I will pick the best one for the next video. So if you like this video, please give me a big like, a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, just hit that subscribe button, and you won't miss any of my future videos. So until the next one, adios amigos.